A dragon takes flight. China's nuclear ambition. China is building a formidable naval fleet. At its heart lies the Type 004 aircraft carrier. This is no ordinary ship. It is China's first nuclear-powered carrier. Construction began in the early 2020s. Now satellite images reveal its colossal size. The world is watching closely. This ship represents a major shift in global power. The Type 004 is a symbol of China's ambition. It wants to be the world's leading naval force. The carrier is a statement. China is here and it is ready to project its power across the globe. This ship is a game changer. It is packed with cutting edge technology and it will carry some of the most advanced aircraft in the world. The Type 004 will give China unprecedented capabilities. It will be able to operate far from its shores. This is a direct challenge to the United States. A doubting the Dragon early skepticism and Western supremacy. Initially, many doubted China's ability to build a nuclear-powered carrier. This technology is incredibly complex. Only a handful of nations possess it. The US Navy, with its decades of experience, seemed insurmountable. Their carriers were the gold standard. Could China really compete? Western analysts pointed to China's past struggles. They had limited experience with carrier operations. Their first two carriers were based on an old Soviet design. These were stepping stones, certainly not on par with US supercarriers. Skepticism was understandable. Could China really bridge the technological gap? However, China was determined. It invested heavily in research and development. It recruited the best minds in the country and it learned from its mistakes. Slowly but surely, China started to make progress. The Dragon's Breath Unveiling the Nuclear Heart In 2024, satellite images confirmed suspicions. China wasn't just building a new carrier, it was building a nuclear one. Images showed the telltale signs of a nuclear reactor under construction. This was a major development. It confirmed China's commitment to challenging US naval dominance. Further analysis revealed the sophistication of China's program. Reports emerged of new, more powerful reactor designs. These reactors were smaller and more efficient. They offered significant advantages over older models. China wasn't just copying existing technology, it was innovating and surpassing it. These revelations sent ripples through the intelligence community. China was developing its nuclear capabilities at a startling pace. Unfettered power advantages of a nuclear behemoth. Nuclear-powered carriers have several key advantages over their conventionally powered counterparts. Firstly, they have virtually unlimited range. They're not constrained by the need to refuel. This allows them to operate for months, even years, without returning to port. Secondly, nuclear reactors generate enormous amounts of power. This power can be used to propel the ship to high speeds. It can also be used to power advanced weapon systems and sensors. This gives nuclear carriers a significant tactical advantage. In short, nuclear carriers are the ultimate symbol of naval power. They project power and prestige like no other vessel. Section 5, a global reach range and endurance of nuclear carriers. The operational range and endurance of nuclear carriers are unmatched. While conventional carriers are limited by their fuel reserves, nuclear carriers can sail for years without refueling. This allows them to project power globally. They can respond to crises on the other side of the world without delay. Furthermore, nuclear carriers are not dependent on vulnerable supply lines. They do not need to rely on vulnerable tankers for refueling. This makes them much more difficult to target. The Type 004 will give China a truly global naval presence. It will be able to operate freely in the Pacific. Section 6, an exclusive club, joining the nuclear carrier elite. For decades, only two nations have possessed nuclear-powered carriers, the United States and France. This technology is incredibly complex and expensive. It requires a high degree of technical expertise. China's entry into this exclusive club is a testament to its growing technological prowess. The US Navy remains the world leader in carrier operations. It has more experience and more carriers than any other nation. However, China is rapidly catching up. The Type 004 is a sign of its ambition to challenge US naval dominance. Section 7. A force to be reckoned with size, capacity and combat prowess. 
The Type 004 is an awe-inspiring vessel. It is estimated to displace over 100,000 tons. This makes it significantly larger than any other non-US carrier. It will have a massive flight deck capable of accommodating over 80 aircraft. The Type 004 will be equipped with a sophisticated array of weapon systems. This will include long-range anti-ship missiles, surface-to-air missiles and close-in weapon systems. It will be a formidable opponent in any naval engagement. The carrier will also be equipped with advanced sensors and radar systems. Section 8 Technological Prowess Catapults and Cutting Edge Aircraft The Type 004 will be equipped with Electromagnetic Aircraft Launch Systems, or EMAILS. This technology is a significant leap forward from traditional steam catapults. EMAILS allows for more controlled and efficient aircraft launches. This reduces stress on the aircraft and allows for a wider range of aircraft to be launched. The carrier will be able to launch a variety of aircraft, including the J-35 stealth fighter. This advanced fighter jet is designed to compete with the US F-35. It gives China a credible air superiority fighter. Section 9. An unstoppable force, the Type 005 and beyond. The Type 004 is just the tip of the iceberg. China is already reportedly working on its next generation carrier, the Type 005. This carrier is expected to be even larger and more advanced than the Type 004. China's naval ambitions are clear. It wants to build a world-class navy capable of challenging the United States. The Type 004 and the Type 005 are just the first steps in this long-term strategy. The world is entering a new era of naval competition. China's rise is challenging the established order. Section 10 Shifting Tides The Impact on Global Naval Dominance The arrival of the Type 004 signifies a seismic shift in global naval power. For decades, the United States has reigned supreme at sea. Its carrier strike groups have been the ultimate symbol of American military might. Now, China is challenging that dominance. The Type 004 gives China the ability to project power far from its shores. It can operate independently for extended periods. This changes the strategic calculus in the Pacific. It potentially limits the US Navy's freedom of maneuver.